Welcome to Back In 2, everyone. I'm Troy Thompson. Joining me in the studio today is Hollis Peel from Memorial Gunter Peel Funeral Home and Crematory. Today we're talking all about urns, keepsakes, and what options do people have for disposition of cremains. Welcome to the show, my friend. Nice Thank to you. see you. Okay, now, once a cremation is performed, what are the most common choices that family have with cremains? Well, I found that people choose cremation and then they've never really thought through to the ultimate end. What are we going to do with the cremains after the cremation has been performed? Some of the most common choices are certainly to go to the, to go to the cemetery and have the burial of the cremains. Perhaps you want to put the cremains up on a mantle and keep them at home. Right. Uh, and then another choice would be to sprinkle or scatter at an old home place. But what happens if there are, say, five grandchildren? and they all want to have a piece of grandma or grandpa? Well, sure. There's jewelry items, that, which are really small, which would be a minute portion of the cremains that could go on a jewelry items. But there's keepsakes. Uh, the whole volume of the cremains fit in the larger size traditional urns. But then these urns also have the smaller keepsakes, so they can be divided. I think that's the best thing. And one of the ones that we see is that cross, which I said to you was so original. Certainly, and could be kept on a table at home or up on a mantle or just on display uh, wherever you like in your own home. Well, again, always great information. We appreciate you. Thank you. If you want to find out more, there it all is up on the screen. Hollis Peel joining us today from, from Memorial Gunter Peel Funeral Home and Crematorium.